The individual windows which go into the drop area are referred to as modules. You can open a module simply by right clicking on a data item in the sidebar and then clicking open as module. If you open a second one in this way, the computer will decide where to place that module. If you would prefer to place the module somewhere according to your own choice, then you can just left drag it and you will then get a purple box whenever you're at the edge of the current module and you can decide where you want to place your new module. You can also open other data items such as peak lists for instance and drag those where you want to place them. Again at the edge of any current module you will see where you could place this. If you go to the edge between two modules now it will span across both and you could have your peak table span across the full width of your drop area. Obviously if I were to open my peak table with PT rather than um, from the sidebar then the computer again would decide but I could just take my module and drag it and place it where I want it to go. Similarly if you open a module from the menu then again the computer will decide where it goes and you can then drag it to another place of your choice. Uh, you're also able to resize modules if you go in the, onto the edge between two modules you can resize them dynamically as you would like. Note that the spectrum modules are all associated with a particular arrangement of axes as shown at the top of the module. So on the left hand side we have an HCN module, on the right hand side an HN module. The HCN module can take any spectrum which has the correct axes. So I could drag some additional spectra into here if I want it. Note that if I try and drag my HSQC in here that won't work because that is an HN spectrum and my um, this module has the nitrogen in the Z axis rather than on the Y axis. If I now type YZ then actually I can flip this module and turn it into an HC, HNC module. Now I can drag my HSQC into here. For more information on flipping spectra, see our separate tutorial on that.